As we can see, there was a survey that was done on the 13th of this month, just two days back, and 56% of Americans was asked uh, if they can use uh, Arabic uh, numbers in their uh, curriculum. They said no. And 19% they have no idea, and 29% said it's okay. Now let's examine the Arabic number system and see if they are aware of what they are talking about or not. We are going to talk about the Arabic uh, number system base 10. And uh, let's look at the Arabic Hindu numbers 1 through 9. As you can see, 1 through 9 are right here. This is the way they were formed. They were formed based on angles. Angles. Let's see, number 1 has one angle. Number 2, two angles. Three. One, two, three, number four, one, two, three, four, number five, one, two, three, four, five, number six, one, two, three, four, five, six, number seven, one, two, three, number eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you can tell me right now, am I telling you the truth? What's going on with number seven? There is only three angles. It's three angles gonna cut it. How can that, and how can this symbol represent the number seven on the Arabic number system? Remember, when you write a check or write a note, you do this, that kind of slash is to add four more angles. So when I do this, I'm adding four more angles. One, two, three, four. And that will complete the set. Now based on the establishment of these numbers, up to the year, uh, the ninth century, there was no zero as we see it. And the story happened to be that the founder of algebra and trigonometry al Khwarizmi was uh, on his own one day, and as you know, scientists and mathematicians do write their encounters because they learn from them. And he was fasting, it was Ramadan. And he was trying to, he saw a blade, an empty blade next to him. And he was hoping that there is something in that blade, like two apples, he will write the number two. But there was nothing on the blade. And he wanted to write, to find a symbol that fit into these numbers that will represent nothing, nil, emptiness, zero, nada. So he looked at the plate and the plate is round. Now he went back and started examining those numbers as I just did, which is based in angles, and looked at his plate and said maybe the plate will fit. And you know, you can't just bring a cat and put it with nine rabbits and you say, I have 10 rabbits. It has to fall within the same classification. So you look at the blade, the blade is round, the blade is curvy and has no corners. And from that, that zero was introduced. And the zero came up through the al There is no corners. And this now is complete and it, it becomes the Arabic number system base 10. Went from Arabic Hindu to the Arabic number system base 10. And the introduction of the zero and the invention of the zero uh, created a new movement in math and technology because it created the place value and number 10. And with that, when we get the place value, we tend to look at the place values from left and right and try to figure out the limits. So I'm going down as going down to zero. And here I'm going down to infinity and so on. And that was kind of a, a way that we improve the precision of the use of numbers. Before the introduction of the zero, they used to have a hard time. Remember on your uncertain calculation, we used to have one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, you see that without the zero, we would have been going through this process. And this is the Arabic number system 
page 10, and it is the number system that the American now and their grandparents and parents, great grandparents, they have used and they are not aware of that. When they are asked about it, about 71% they didn't want it or they have no idea about it. I hope that you will understand it and we get the message through.